You might not know it, but today marks the French holiday, Bastille Day, which is much like our Independence Day. Indeed, but you don't have to travel to France to join in the celebration. Holly is in Bethesda this morning to learn more about the parties right here. Holly, good morning. Good morning. Hold on, I'm rebuilding the Bastille. <laughs> there we go. You know, when people want their independence, they want it right then and there. But the beauty of being here at Jabiru is that we can recreate it instantly, and there's still a lot of French fun for you and your family to have today on this Bastille Day. They're having a big event tonight, and uh, we're going to find out more about it. Rob Anderson is the president of Jabiru, and he joins me. Bonjour. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Uh, right. I have very limited French knowledge, but I'm hoping to pick up on something while I'm here. Or maybe I could have picked up on something when I was young. That is the whole thing. Tell me a little bit more again about the philosophy of Jabiru. That is, that's the point of what we're doing here. We started Jabiru to begin teaching languages to kids at a very young age. And you know, this is something that happens in cultures all over the world. Uh, kids learn multiple languages at birth. And here in this country, traditionally, we started a little bit later, middle school and high school. And we really believe that the best time for a child to learn a language, a second language, is at a very young age. So like we start. Early? Well, we start at six months. Wow. Okay. We have a, yeah, we have a program for six to 14 months. Babies and their parents come and they start, you know, they're introduced to a second language. And then our immersion classes start at 12 months. So we go from age one up to 10 years old. And it's really excellent. Um, it, it, like I said, it's the best way for them to learn. And, and we teach them in full immersion. The instructor only speaks in that language. Right. Um, and you might think, well, that's, well, how's the child going to know? They don't know the language. How are they hearing it? But it's just like they're learning their first language. You know, and they, they learn it very naturally. And they learn it through play, which is a very fun way for them to learn. All through activities, through role play, games, art projects, music. So it's well, a lot of fun for the kids. And not only do you have the classes, but then you also have these uh, different events from time to time. And since today is Bastille Day, you're celebrating French independence. We're going to check in with Emily, who is having a little class with us here this morning. Good morning to you, Emily. Bonjour. Okay, you guys, I know we had a little practice run at the Storming of the Bastille. You think you can do it again? Yeah. Let me see you take back your independence. Do it right now. Okay. Take oh, up no! arms. Oh, yes, no! storm the Bastille. And Emily, as they're doing that, kind of explain to everyone the significance of Bastille Day. Yes. Um, actually, this is the symbolic passage from the monarchy to the republic in France. But um, it's almost actually we celebrate the anniversary, the first anniversary. Go ahead, you can knock it down now. Yes, yes. <laughs> first anniversary of Bastille Day, which was actually a day of reconciliation between nobles and people. And it was the start of the French Revolution. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, yeah. wow. So that took, let's see, 10 seconds. Are you ready for the next activity? How about a little puppet show? And then yeah, the kids sit down and gear up to yeah, watch yeah, this. We're kind of giving you an idea of some of the events that might be going on in France as well, but are also going to go on here at Jabiru in Bethesda. And and Emily, tell me a little bit about uh, Guignol here. So Guignol is a very famous puppet in France. Mm -hmm. He celebrated his 200th birthday actually last year. Last year, yeah. And um, it's really the famous thing that you see in the parks. People uh, get their kids to watch this. And, and I understand that it's not only amusing for kids, but it's also uh, amusing to witty adults. They say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, actually, he's the kind of justice guy. Mm -hmm. So if, when something is wrong, he has a stick and he doesn't hesitate to. He doesn't hesitate to. Yeah. Use it. Okay. Now, I know at home right now you're probably going, this is just organized chaos and there's no way these kids are learning anything, but I'm going to prove you wrong. Who can speak to me in French? Who can? Okay, okay, okay. Bonjour. Bonjour. Can you tell me your name in French? Zoe. Zoe. But can you say my name is Zoe? Mm, mm, moi, je m'appelle Zoe et je... She, what she said was, my name is Zoe, what is your name? And she said, well, that's funny, my name is Zoe. Well, she didn't say that's funny, but she said, my name is Zoe. Okay, Luciette? Bonjour. Bonjour. What are you going to tell me in French? Ma petite sœur s'appelle Rose. And she said, this is my little sister Rose, right over here. She doesn't speak French yet, but is on her way. Are you guys ready to sing a song for me? Yeah. Okay, everybody, they're singing a uh, French national song that Emily has been working with them. Here's what you need to know. MyFoxCC.com is our website. We have a link to Jabiru, so you can find out about all their different programs, but specifically about Bastille Day, which is going on tonight from 6 until 7 p.m. They'd love for you to RSVP. You can get the phone number on the website. Come on out. Be a part of the French family fun. We're going to continue to have some more French fun in our next hour. Two of my favorite things. Let's see. We're going to do some dancing and have crepes. Mm.
that's going to be magnifique. Back to you guys. All right, Holly. Thank you a lot. Look forward to it.